the Strictly Come Dancing Stars went out for a meal after winning the BBC dance show. Strictly Come Dancing winners Rose Ailing Ellis and Joanie Pernis were reunited in a swanky restaurant just weeks after triumphantly lifting the Glitterball trophy. The EastEnders actress from Manchester and the professional dancer won hearts in the 2021 series of Strictly with their strong friendship and powerful routines. They moved viewers and the judges to tears with a dance featuring 10 seconds of silence in honor of Rose being the BBC dance show's first deaf contestant in its 17-year history. To catch up after their win the pair went out for dinner at Italian restaurant Gola in Fulham, and Giovanni documented the pair's night on his Instagram. One hilarious clip showed the friends pretending to have an awkward moment as they sat across the table from each other. They acting out looking annoyed as Rose sat with her arms folded. Nice catch up, the dancer comically captioned the clip. But he then shared a clip of Rose looking much happier as she was about to tuck into her meal and said, happy days, food. Rose said the Italian dancer is her best friend for life after a life-changing four months working together. And as she saw in the new year she said she can't wait to see what 2022 will bring after inspiring others during her time on the dance floor. She posted the quote, stay afraid, but do it anyway. What's important is the action. You don't have to wait to be confident. Just do it and eventually the confidence will follow. She added, that definitely what 2021 did for me, the year of growth, discovery and surprises. In response her professional dance partner Giovanni posted a stream of nine hearts. And fans were quick to point out that he had missed out a heart to complete a perfect Strictly score of 10. The Strictly star is using a sign language interpreter on his tour after their win. Producers Strictly Theatre County announced BSL signed performances for Giovanni's This Is Me 2022 tour on Instagram. And one of the signed performances will be at Manchester Bridgewater Hall on April 8 as well as Glasgow's Royal Concert Hall on April 5 and Beck Theatre Hayes on May 14.